Dressed to impress and use your wicked wit to win that invitation. But tread carefully, the local neighborhood watch is on patrol with eyes sharper than a wooden stake. Let's go hunting. Okay, so I'm a vampire. In the game. Just to clarify. Um. Wah! Oh no. Stream's dead. Womp womp. Continue. Oh no, I pressed the lockout button. No. Let's go a hunting. Okay, so uh, rare, wear red hoodie and jeans. Okay, wear black beanie. Oh, there we go. Okay, now I gotta trick people to get into their homes. My home is pretty crap apparently. It's a box. Okay. Oh, paper bag, ma bag mask. Okay, I can barely speak right now. Good stuff. Okay, this uh, construction guy seems good. We're traffic cone? I'm a genius. Okay. Let's get in this person's house. Knock, knock. Uh. Aho, uh what's poppin', my G? You rockin' that traffic cone like a true fashion icon. Respect. What brings you to my crib in the middle of the night, though? Um. I'm selling traffic cones door to door so I can pay for. Uh, a surgery for my daughter who needs one so she won't die. Oh snap, my bad homie. I didn't know. I feel you man. Family first always. Let me see what I can do to help you out even if it just spreading the word. Can you wait a sec while I make some calls? Of course I can wait, thank you, but would you mind letting me inside? It's cold out here, like I, I'd rather wait indoors. Yo, I feel you fam, it's all about spreading love. You've shown me love with your hustle, so I got you. Slide on in, my crib is always warm and cozy. Let's get this surgery fund moving. Thank you so much, you kind, lovely person. Oh, appreciate the love, my G. You're too kind. Come on in, my dude. Let's get some moves together. We're gonna make that surgery happen. Your daughter, no doubt. Okay, that's cool. Walk inside. Ah, they're running away. Oh, bite them. Okay, bite them. This sucks more than my last track. Okay. I win. Cool. Audio way too loud. Okay. So the game does have its own music. Sometimes. Um, sound effect volume way down. Music volume way down. Okay. So I'm now this person. If I want to be. Oh, I got speakers. Battery pack. Okay, cool. Walkie-talkie. Okay, cool. Uh, can I move this stuff out of the way? I guess they wouldn't care about it. So I have to kill 31 people, it seems. Um, there is, I got one wanted star though. Okay. There's a policeman over there. May I stay away from that guy? Okay. Can I try and go in here then? Okay, knock knock. Yo little swipe, what's poppin'? What brings you to my humble abode at this hour, my dude? Um... I am recording a new track, and you happen to have the exact kind of voice that I need. Um, really? My voice for a track? That's wild, bro. But I gotta ask, what kind of vibe are you going for? And why do you think my voice would fit? I'm looking for a real chill vibe, and I can see from your, uh, your look that you're totally chill. Uh, thanks for coming, my dude. I can definitely bring the chill vibes, but you gotta tell me more about this track, like the lyrics and the beat. I wanna make sure you're we're on the same wavelength, you know? Oh, goddamn. Um. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to say to this, man. 
it's like one of those chill hop vibes uh, that sounds where it's like, ver, 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 nah, yeah, ah. <laughs> I wonder what it does to that. <laughs> uh, I love me some chill hop vibes. That ver, 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 nah, yeah sound. It's like speaking my language, bro. Let's do this, man. I'm ready to lay down some smooth lyrics for your track. Thanks, G. Love you. I <laughs> appreciate the love, G. Love you too, man. Welcome to the Bitcoin pad. Let's make some music magic happen. Oh, this guy's into Bitcoin? Okay, let's get him. Get him! Uh, buy it. Is this tax deductible? <laughs> Brian Bitcoin. I didn't even notice his name before. Okay. So we're, we're Bitcoin guy now. Uh, I don't need to wear walkie-talkie. This is all good. Okay. Um... Oh, is, is, is it, oh, you saw me. Ah, uh, no, run. Okay, now you didn't see me. Okay, cool. Um, oh, is it a different person's house? Yeah, okay. This person, okay. Uh, oh, Brian. How delightful to see you. Did you bring your abacus? We can tally up the mystical numbers together. Uh... I didn't bring my abacus. In fact, I was hoping to borrow yours. Can I come in and grab it? I hope she has an abacus. Oh, d oh, she has an abacus anymore. I had to get rid of it after a unfortunate incident. But don't worry, I'm sure you can find one at the store. Uh. Um, what unfortunate incident? That's, that's unfortunate. <laughs> oh my, it was a silly mishap. Nothing for you to worry about, dear, but I'm terribly sorry I don't, won't be able to lend you my abacus. Have a lovely day. No! Knock, knock, who's Steve? When a door slams shut, the neighborhood watch will come to investigate. Oh no! Ah, uh, run. Ah. Uh. Uh, uh, do, do I want any of this stuff? Uh, spray paint and stuff? I guess I should have just gone for an abacus. We'll get, we'll get a sombrero. Okay. Um. Uh. Uh, so we need to find an abacus if we want to easily get into that person's house. Is this another person's house? Um, let's go to this door. Okay, remember we missed that person behind, back there. Okay. This is Amigo. Hi there, Amigo. What brings, what brings a combination of Wall Street and Mexico to my humble abode? Can I interest you in some special seeds for your garden? Uh, as a matter of fact, I was looking for some special seeds. That's a great coincidence. Can I come in and see them? Well, now that you mention it, I do have some pretty unique seeds, if you catch my drift. But I gotta make sure you're not just another undercover agent man. Can you tell me a little about your gardening experience? Um. I, I do a lot of great gardening that is illegal, but... Like, totally cool, man. And, you, you know, like, a a agents can't wear sombreros, so... Haha, <laughs> 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 Diego style, amigo. Gardening, that's both illegal and cool. You're speaking my language. I like your sombrero logic too, man. Alright, step on in, and let's see what kind of seeds you're after. I am so good at this. Um. Thanks so much, amigo. Let's go. Right on. Welcome to the secret ganja garden, my friends. Step on in and let's get acquainted with some of the finest special seeds Mother Nature has to offer. Just be- ah, oh, missed what he said there. Okay, but that's fine. He'll be dead soon. <laughs> ah, it's so loud. Ah. My garden's gonna miss me. <laughs> okay. M music still way, way too loud. <laughs> okay. 
Um, so I guess we're a garden guy now? Cool. I don't have to be him, I guess. I got, I got, so we got three people. Um, uh, 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 watch guy there. Okay, let's, let's go. Okay, oh, this is here. Okay, oh, there's a package here. Oh, here we go. What intonation do you want at this time of night? Speak up, you hoodlum. Hey man, I saw you had this package food thing out the front of your house, and I'm just here to, like, give it to you. I should have just said I was bringing it, but... Well, ain't that just dandy. Leave it by the door and scram, you hear? I'm not interested in whatever fancy, schmancy package food thing you got there. Um... Uh... Um, I happen to have some amazing drugs that will help you grow back your hair. You think you can waltz up to my store with your snake oil and expect me to fall for it? Get lost? Oh, right. Uh, I should look at his name. He was a boomer. Uh, I should be like, all oh, them damn kids with their stuff. I don't need no drugs to fix my perfectly fine head of hair. Now quit bothering me before I call the authorities and have you hold off. What? No. Okay, well. I need to get a different outfit then. Ah, oh, he's coming. Okay, well. Ah, uh, no. I'm naked. That's not good. Uh, I'm a bat. Why would I want to be a bat out here? I guess I can move faster? Uh, okay. So, we, we I did, didn't get that door as well. I need to find a different outfit. Um. How about I go back and get one of my first outfits? And, and yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. We'll go with the construction person. And a hat. So we didn't get this person. Oh my goodness gracious, what a surprise to you at my doorstep in the middle of the night. Is everything alright, dear? Um. There's been a gas leak outside, and I need to come inside immediately, or I, I might die from all the gas. You need to go inside as well and close your door immediately. <laughs> oh dear, a gas leak? That sounds terribly dangerous. I'll make sure to close the door right away and keep myself safe inside. You should do the same, dude. Stay safe out there. What do you mean? No, I need to come inside! She left me to die! What a terrible person! Uh, okay. Um... Where's this boomer person again? Okay, we got this person, so get this boomer person again. Okay. Um... The damn millennials have caused some destruction outside, and I need to report it immediately, but ah, they took my phone, so I was hoping to use yours inside. Oh, Are you kidding me? You think I'm gonna just hand over my phone to some random construction worker and get lost? Kid? What do you mean, kid? Oh, mm. No, kid, up. Ah. <laughs> uh. If it wasn't nighttime, I think it'd be doing better off. What's this? Technical backpack. Um. Will he not reckon will he recognize me still? Um. Oh. Maybe without the hat. Oh, what entirely should you doing? Knock on my door at this golden golly ah, I hope you have a dang good reason. Or else I'll have half mind to give you a piece of my mind. Um, uh, um, oh, Sage Boomer, I need your wisdom to know how to hook up some electronic stuff, hence my backpack. That's not very good. God dang it. <laughs> Wisdom, huh? Well, I reckon I do know a thing or two about hooking up electronic doohies, but I better ma but you better make it quick. I got a I ain't got all day. What you need help with? Like I knew that that would appeal to him, but like I don't know what I'm where I'm going with this. 
Um, my refrigerator isn't working. I was hoping you could show me yours and how it works, because you would obviously be very knowledgeable about that kind of thing, being so wise and all. Because the the it's because the, the fridge is in his house. Well, I ain't no fridge technician kid, but if yours ain't working, it's probably just a simple fix. Don't go wandering into people's homes asking to see their appliances, though. That's a weird thing to do, even for a maintenance worker. No, it's not. Um, God damn it. Uh, um, mm, but I'm not just any maintenance worker. I am your long-lost son, Pepico. That's a great name. <laughs> well, I'll be danged. Long lost son, huh? I didn't even know I had one. Show me some proof, Papiko, or else I'm closing this door right quick. What? Oh, I can, I can like look inside their house and see what stuff they have? Mm, that makes sense, okay. Um, like through the windows and stuff. Uh, what more proof than that do you need than we look like basically exactly the same? You can see the family resemblance. Well, I'll be done. You do look like a younger, less grumpy version of me. I suppose I can spare a few minutes to see what this long lost son business is about. Come on in, Pepico. Thank you so much, sir. I, I won't disappoint. Let's go. You can use asterisks to stimulate actions. What does that mean? Wasn't it? Don't get, don't go getting all mushroomy now, Papiko. Let's see if we can, you you can prove yourself worthy. Okay. Get wrecked, son. I mean, I'm the son, but you know. Bah! You millennials ruin everything. I knew he hated millennials. He's a boomer. Okay. We old man now. Oh, I could have like mentioned the fireplace and stuff. I, I guess. Okay. Wait, can you actually see in the windows? You can't see in the windows. What are you talking about? But I could like mention golf and stuff. Like you find stuff around the house. Um, where is asterisk? What do you mean asterisk? I don't know what that means. Okay. Um. I guess, okay, multiple people here. Okay. Uh, what am I doing with this? Um. Oh, there's a guy right there. Oh no. Uh, where dinosaur hat? Um. Konnichiwa, fellow lover, all things kawaii. What brings you to my humble abode at such a late hour? What? Who's speaking? I need to open this thing. I Um, you say, I, I know what you mean. I, I didn't see anything. Okay, um, uh, rawr, I'm a dinosaur and it's Halloween. <laughs> oh my gosh, Halloween is the perfect time for an anime marathon. Have you seen the latest episode of Attack on Titan? It's so epic. I agree. Would you like to go trick or treating with me? Yeah. So, Goy, I'd love to go trick or treating with you. Let's dress up as our favorite anime characters and collect all the delicious candy. That'd be super kawaii. Uh, let me come in and help you pick out an outfit. I you gotta get to go, Gazi Misu. Please come in and let's find. I, I knew it. I, the, these people love dressing up. Rar. Eat them. My senpai would never do this. Oh, there's a person over there. Oh no. Close the door. Okay. Cute outfit. Okay. Um, the music is still way too loud. I guess you can't turn it down. What, what's what's my phone doing? Something weird. Uh, okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, I guess just in post for the VOD that will be fixed. It's probably not that bad right now. Okay. Uh, okay, here. 
Um, well, 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 if it isn't my weeaboo neighbor, Sakura-chan, what brings you to my doorstep this late at night? Looking for some Christmas anime recommendations, perhaps? Please help me, please help me, there's a vampire around, and he's going around harming people, and he's after me, and please let me in to protect me. I should got the Santa hat. <laughs> a vampire, you say? Oh my, that's quite a predicament. I can't let you in just yet, but I'll call the vampire hunters right away. They'll take care of the, this bloodsucker in no time. Oh no. Um. Uh, there's a light on my back. Uh, no, oh yeah, yeah, um, no, just kidding, I was just reenacting a scene from my favorite anime, Attack on Titan, have you seen it? Oh, Attack on Titan, a thrilling town indeed, I must admit, I'm more of a fan of classic Christmas movies myself, but I can appreciate a good anime. Who's your favorite character from the show? Santa Claus. Ah, you have excellent taste, my friend. Santa Claus is a blooded character indeed. Just like me. Now tell me, have you been naughty or nice this year? Um... How old is my character meant to be? Probably too young, right? Uh... Because we're gonna be- I, I'm, I'm super naughty. No, but um... I have been super nice and am deserving of some milk and cookies. Well, aren't you a jolly soul? I'm glad to hear that you've been nice. Milk and cookies are Christmas tradition, and as Santa Claus, I'm more than happy to share some with you. But first, let's talk about your favorite Christmas movie. Do you have one in mind? Die Hard. Die Hard is my favorite Christmas movie. Ah, <laughs> oh, Die Hard, a classic choice indeed. Some people may debate its status as a Christmas movie, but in my book, it definitely counts. Action, excitement, and, a, and Christmas spirit all rolled into one. Just like Santa Claus himself. Now tell me, why do you think Die Hard is the perfect Christmas film? <laughs> um. <laughs> uh. Because <laughs> um. it happens around Christmas, and Christmas movies happen around Christmas. I would like to talk to you more about this inside. You make a fair point, my friend. Die Hard does take place during Christmas, as so it certainly qualifies as a Christmas movie. Oh, good, he let me in. Okay, sweet. I didn't get the last part, but... Rawr! Guess I'm on the naughty list. I'm so good at this game. Okay, we are Santa Claus now. Okay, what's this, glasses? Okay. Well, ain't you a sight for sore eyes showing up on my doorstep in the middle of the night looking like high-vis Santa Claus? What's the deal, pal? Um. <coughs> yo, yo, I'm Hip Hop Santa Claus, and I'm here to say that you are the coolest OG around, and I would love to come in and talk to you more about how cool you are. <laughs> well, 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 seems like you're, you're singing a different tune now, huh? Yeah, maybe I'm pretty cool, but that don't mean I'm ready to just let anybody in my domain, especially not one wearing a Santa hat in March. So why don't you spill the beans and tell me why you're really here? Um... I have come to give you candy. <laughs> candy, huh? Now you're speaking my language. Because he's twisted, see? Hey? I gotta say, I'm not one to trust just... Any old candy giver, you got to prove you're worthy. What kind of candy are we talking about here? And why should I let you in to share it with me? I have heaps of orange sherbet. Remember when you asked me to get your orange sherbet before? I've now come back with that orange sherbet. Hmm. Orange sherbet, my old friend, you actually remembered. All right, hip hop Santa Claus, you've redeemed yourself. Come on in, let's... Bask in the gloriousness of that tangy, refreshing treat, but don't think this automatically best buds again. Okay. So that's a reference to uh, Austin Powers, guys. 
does this count as first base? Okay. In Austin Powers, he sends a guy to get him Orange Sherbet, and he actually comes back later with the Orange Sherbet. Orange Sherbet does slap. Um. Uh. So we're doing like this side of the street first, I guess. We could do the other side next. What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, pink hat? Kind of matches? Cool, cool. Um. Well, 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 look who decided to grace my doorstep. What brings you here, loser? Um. Uh. Being such a loser as I am, I was hoping to learn from you how to be cool, because you are obviously a very cool person, Regina. Oh, please, loser, don't waste my time with your pathetic attempts at flattery. But if you want to learn from the Queen of Cool, you better start taking notes first. Lesson, never wear that hideous cap if you want to be remotely cool. Um. Oh my gosh, you are so right. I, I can't believe I wore this. Uh, I, I need to learn more from you. Can I come in and we can talk about this at length? Well, I have to admit, your willingness to acknowledge your fashion makes it somewhat commendable. Fine, you can come in, but only because I'm feeling generous today. I am so good at murdering people, chat. This real life experience is, you know, helping me out in this game. Let's go! You can't sit with us. Okay. Um, we've got two stars right now. I park on top of roofs and stuff for funsies. No, okay. This is, what's this? Casual lab coat. Um. <clears throat> oh, my nocturnal visitor. What brilliant endeavor brings you here at this ungodly hour? Um. There's a problem with the water supply, and I need to come in to test your water. It may have been infected. If you've had any water in the last 48 hours, you may become a zombie. There's a jetpack. <laughs> zombie apocalypse, you say? How utterly pedestrian. I'm afraid I can't waste my valuable time on such trifles. Good night. No! I should have listened! Uh, ah. No! Why? I just... I had a lab coat, and so I was going off the lab coat. Oh, a seal. Oh, no, it's gas. Okay, that's good. That's even better. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's, what's that? Okay, here we, here we go. Try again. Okay, hold on. Oh, my fellow scientists, how delightful to see another brilliant mind joining the quest for world domination. Pray tell what brings you to my laboratory at such a late hour. Um... I have a doomsday weapon, and I plan to use it to threaten everyone and get a billion dollars. But I need someone specifically with a jetpack to deliver it. Uh. No! My dear friend, well your enthusiasm and ambition is certainly impressive. I'm afraid I cannot endorse such destructive plans. My goal is to enlighten the world with scientific advancement, not bring about chaos. No. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, nope. Uh, ah! Nah! Okay, this is... Ahem. Oi there, my enlightened compatriot. How marvelous of you to arrive at my abode at such an hour of waking. Pray tell, what brings you to my humble dwelling? B. L. Ivor. Oh, he's a believer! Um... I have been sent by aliens to choose the best of humanity to go with them to receive enlightened information, and you are one of them. I would like to come in and talk to you about it. Well, 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 isn't that an extraterrestrial coincidence? You see, my dear comrade, I've been investigating those otherworldly beings for ages. Come in and let's unravel the secrets of the universe together. So simple! I have been in a let's go! For 10 years now and my friend just showed me um, your stream and I would like to thank you for making me get out of my wheelchair to turn your stream off. Just kidding, Viper love. Thank you, Luna. Okay, thank you for this up. Who are? Who are? 
Oh, my metallic mind is buzzing with excitement. Please do come inside and regale me with tales of those secret of aliens. I'm positively bursting with curiosity. Um. I, too, am of the excitement, and I do wish to come inside. <laughs> Excellent. Vindication at last. Please enter my humble abode, fellow seeker of truth. We shall unlock the mysteries of the cosmos together. Welcome. Like, I already had him after the first sentence. I had to say more. Rawr! Blah! Those fangs are full of fluoride. <laughs> okay. And let's go. Um. What's this? What, what was this over there? But, oh, I lose my clothing. Ah, uh, no. Oh, I'm an alien? I I think this is meant to be for the... The guy that I just did. Beep boop. I'm alien. Rar. Um. I want I want this alien thing. Um. This person likes warriors. Uh. Okay. Ah no. <clears throat> oh, we travel. Pray tell what tales of valor and mischief have brought you to my humble abode this late eve. Um, I was defending the ramparts of a local castle, and they were like, "We need more people to help us fight back the Vikings. Can you help?" <laughs> oh. By the gods, battling Vikings and no small feet, I commend your bravery adventure. While I cannot join you in the fray, I can offer you a place to rest and regroup before you place the funders. Thank you so much. A, a, a night to rest within your house would really, really help me. Of course, the adventure your valor deserves a brief respite. Enter and make yourself at home in the safety of my dungeons, but beware for dangers may lurk in these chambers. There are no dangers that I cannot face as a valiant warrior. Ah, oh, you're a valiant warrior indeed. I sense great courage in your words. Come forth, brave adventurer, and may the blessings of the dice be ever in your favor. Okay. Vampire! Num, 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 num. Your strength stat is OP. Of course it is. Okay. Uh, I guess that, I don't know what you mean. Okay, let's go. And... Oh, hat. Okay. Um. My, my, who do we have here? How unexpected. Pray tell what brings you to my humble abode at such a late hour. Preston Pomps. Um. I am selling the finest of ivory back scratches. Uh, something that you, as a dignified, rich person, would be very interested in. Ivory back scratches, you say? Quite an unusual proposition for someone of my stature. However, I must admit I'm somewhat intrigued. Pray enlighten me further of the exquisite craftsmanship and rarity of these back scratches. Um. Uh. There are only ten of them in existence, made of the finest ivory from the ivory coasts. Ah, the Ivory Coast, a place of great mystique and luxury. A limited edition item crafted from such fine ivory is indeed intriguing. I must inspect these back scratches personally before making a decision. Do bring them in so I may assess their worth. No ways, I'll come in and show them to you. <clears throat> Hello, Jack. Excellent, your eagerness is matched only by my anticipation. Please do come in and showcase your illustration. Uh, illustrious. Okay. Time to die. Blah. This is the worst kind of networking. 
Okay. Um. <clears throat> What's this? Is this a uh, jetpack? Uh, okay. Oh, crown. Okay. Oh, wings. Okay. Hallelujah! Uh, welcome, dear Celestial Trevor. I am Father Price, ready to spread the divine word and bask in the glorious presence you bring. How may I assist you in... How may I assist your heavenly mission tonight? Um, I, the first of God's angels, have come down to inform you that you are the reborn of Christ. Oh my, how positively delightful to be considered the reborn of Christ as a tremendous honor and responsibility. Please do enlighten me further with the details of this divine revelation. Also, try to ask if they are watching Dark Viper Al. AI knows a lot about streamers and YouTubers. Oh really? Okay. Um, I'll do it with the next one. Okay. Um, you personally need to go forth and spread the divine message of God. Uh, I will come in and inform you of what you need to be saying. Glory be to God, I'm honored to have you as my guide. Please come in and let us commune with the divine. Together we shall spread. Okay. Don't have time to read all what, he's, what they say, which is the only downside of this game so far. Bah. And what happens if I let them go? Guess I'm being the maker now. Yes, you are. I made this game. Okay, so we are now religious, dude. Okay. Um. Okay. A helmet. And, and, and something. Okay. Are they naked? Well, well, well. What have we got here? A buttoned-up office worker breaking free from the shackles of corporate life. Namaste, my friend. What brings you to my humble abode? Help, help, I am the Twitch streamer Darkfiber AU, and I've been sucked into this video game, which you exist in as well. Please help me out. <laughs> oh man, this sounds like a real bummer, but like, I'm just here in the real world, man. I can't help you with video game stuff. Maybe try hitting the reset button or something. Good luck, dude. Peace out. No! <laughs> okay, we'll come back to that person in a second. Oh, oh, dang. Well, okay. Eh. Yeah. What intonation you doing knocking my door at this godly content. hour? Thanks for the years um, of great content and righteousness you are providing in this crazy day and age. Thank you. Thank you for watching my stuff. Thank you. Um. He's got a gun and. Uh, there is a protest outside, and I would like you to use your gun to shoot these damn progressives asking for equal rights. <laughs> oh, <how am> I, <laughs> <laughs> you listen to me, partner. I may be an angry bumpkin, but I ain't no fool. What? <laughs> he has a gun! <laughs> Who was walking around their house with a gun that doesn't want to shoot progressives in the street? <laughs> okay, okay, on, on, this is, on. <laughs> Hey there, Groovy Traveler. What brings you my humble abode on this fine middle of night? Peace and love, brother. Um. Whoa, nice cock. <laughs> okay. Mm. Ah, he's coming me. Okay. That. Ah, I'm bat. Okay. I too am naked. Alright. <clears throat> ah, no. Hey, 
Dream, and welcome to the Cosmic Cosper. Spread your wings and let your soul soar in the sky, like a groovy bird in a cyclonic paradise. Peace and love, baby. <laughs> Transcribing. <laughs> ah. Whoa, dude, no need to panic. Just keep a deep breath and let the good vibes flow. But uh, I think it's time for you to head back to your own little party. Catch you on the flip side. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, slap my knee and call me a cattle rustler. What in tarnations are you doing here in this ungodly hour looking for, looking like a, a walking carnival? Um. I want you to teach me how to shoot guns and watch football and be conservative. <laughs> Are you plum crazy? I ain't teaching no one nothing about shooting guns, watching football, being conservative. Now get off my property. Dang it! Ah, okay. <clears throat> uh, get another outfit here. Okay, I'm Santa Claus. Okay, we, we, we Santa Claus? Okay. <clears throat> hey there, fellow free spirit. What brings a jolly Santa Claus like you to my humble abode on this moonlit, moonlit night? Um, hello, I am Santa Claus, and my sleigh has crashed and, like, burned down. I was hoping I could come inside and build a new sleigh. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, man, that's the story you got there, Santa Claus. I dig your vibe, but unfortunately my place is kind of a no-shoes, no-slate kind of zone. Good luck finding a new ride, though. Uh, keep spreading that cosmic cheer. No, 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 I don't want to build the slate in your house. I just need somewhere that I can sit and design a new sleigh with, like, a, a pencil and paper and stuff. Oh, far, I get what you're saying. Now, safety claws, you're totally welcome to hang out in my groovy patio and channel your creative energy into designing a new sleigh. Those ideas flow, man. Thank you. Um. Thank you, Eve Breeze. I'll be sure to give you a really, really great gift. Oh, man, you're so kind, safety claws. But you know what? The greatest gift you can give me is just spreading love and joy to everyone. You meet in the cosmic journey. That's the real magic, man. Happy sleigh designing, and may the cosmic vibes be with you. Thank you so much. Uh, I'll be happy to come indoors now. <laughs> Groovy safety claws. Your vibes and trust have reached cosmic levels. Come on in, my friend. Let's embrace the magic of togetherness and spread. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's, let's go. Okay. Eat them so much for natural living. Blah. Okay. Keep with Santa Claus. Everyone loves Santa Claus. This person. Oh, are they? Maybe they saw me. Okay. On. Um. Well, what in chicken fried Christmas cookies is going on here? Y'all better not be peddling no fruitcake. I ain't buying nothing tonight. Hello, I am Santa Claus, and I want to give you a great gift. Oh. Ain't no Santa Claus gonna come round here trying to give me no gift. I reckon you best turn that sled of yours right on round and go... No! Oh, the other guy, the guy left? Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay. Um. Uh, can I just talk to him again with the same outfit? Oh, no. No! Okay, well, now I need an outfit. Oh, okay. That's unfortunate. What's this over here? Oh, they made me look like a poor guy. Oh, there's another Santa hat. hat. Okay. Um, this looks like a rich person's home. Uh, backpack? Um... Well, hello there, my wacky friend. What brings you to the door at this ungodly hour? Um, <coughs> I am sick and poor, and I, I'm selling this package. 
It's Mr. Beast. What? Oh man, I'm sorry to hear that, but I, I don't think I can buy your package right now. Hope things get better for you. Um, can I have free money? <laughs> sorry, buddy, but I can't just give out free money. You have to find another way. Take care. Um. <laughs> hey there, thanks for stopping by again, but I'm gonna have to pass on giving you free money. Keep hustling, good luck. Um, oh, I have to actually change outfit. Dang it! I've got a small box now. <laughs> Whoa, dude, you caught me off guard. Thanks for living some late night snacks, man. You're a lifesaver. Surprised animation. Um. I have a really good idea how you can use poor people to get a lot of views on the internet and make money. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry dude, but I'm not interested in exploiting anyone for views. <laughs> sure you're not, Mr. East. Sure you're not. Ah, <laughs> uh, um, whoops. <laughs> I mean, but I'm poor! You can get a lot of views, man, I promise. Ah, uh, goddamn. Okay. I need another outfit. What's this plunger thing? Okay. <clears throat> oh my goodness, what in the world are you supposed to be? Did you get lost on your way to the circuit? Her name is Karen. Okay, her name is Karen. Um. I am a plumber. Your toilets don't work. Let me in. Hello. <laughs> Excuse me, how dare you barge in here demanding to be let in like that? Absolutely no one will tolerate such rudeness. G goodbye. No! <laughs> of course, that's what happened. Okay. Here, okay. Here's what you gotta do, okay? Um, oh. Excuse me, but I don't recall scheduling an impromptu mime performance at this hour. Can you please mime your way out of my property immediately? Um, I have heard you're the most sage and wise person in the entire neighborhood, and I want to know, uh, advice from you. Well, it's about time someone recognized my wisdom, so what advice do you need from the queen of the neighborhood? How do I keep those gosh darn kids off my lawn? Ah, the eternal struggles of maintaining a pristine lawn. First, you must establish boundaries and make it clear that your lawn is off limits. A well-placed fence and some no trespassing signs should do the trick. And if those pesky kids still dare to step foot on your sacred turf, don't hesitate to give them a stern talking to. Works like a charm. I am intrigued. Can I come in and you tell me even more about how to control these unruly kids of the neighborhood? Absolutely! Finally, someone who appreciates my expertise, come in, my dear, and let's discuss the strategies of keeping these rascals at bay. Karen Blood! Blah! Okay, what you got? You want? There we go. There we go. You can't treat customers like this. Oh, darn hooligans on my lawn! Okay. Uh, oh, fun. Show it show back. Okay, cool, cool. Let's go back for this person. Uh, I gotta go fish person again. I got this, chat. I got this. Oh, this, oh it's a different person. Oh, Elon Zuck. Hey there, Fabio Stranger. What a delightful surprise to see your fashionable self on my door. How can I assist you in conquering the tech world today? Um. Um, I have developed a new fuel that will enable us to go to Mars. Mm -hmm. 
Oh my techness, going to Mars? That's out of this world. Tell me more about this cutting edge fuel you've created. I can't wait to hear the details. Um. I'm so happy to hear you say that. It's made of the blood of orphans and the ground bones of children. Oh, um, that's certainly a shocking approach, but uh, I don't think I can support a fuel that involves such questionable ingredients. I'm sorry I won't be able to assist you with that. Have a nice um day. But, but sir, no! I, I, I really think this game is not portraying Elon Musk in the way that it should be. <laughs> ah! Oh, that's like so dark and twisted, but uh, thanks for sharing that. Um, interesting information. Unfortunately, I can't get behind fuel that involves such morally questionable practices. Have a totally, like, groovy day. Dang it! Ahem. <clears throat> I really thought he was gonna go for that. It's such a cheap... ingredients. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Hey there, fabulous fashionistas. Welcome to the channel, where every day is a runway. I'm Mr. East, and I'm absolutely thrilled to have you here. Let's dive into the world of fashion and fun together. <laughs> Mr. East, thank thank God I found you. Uh, Mr. West, Mr. North, and Mr. South are coming together to try to take down your channel. Well, hold up. I can't believe they would do such thing. Thanks for the heads up, but I'm not interested in any drama. Let's keep this channel positive and focused on what we love. Fashion and fun. Why you didn't let me keep talking to you? I'm <laughs> Dang it. He doesn't like the drama. One time I actually do a knock on my door at this ungodly hour. Ain't got no time for fancy smancy city folk like yeah. So make it quick. Uh, I want to give you unlimited free beer. Well, butter my biscuits. You say unlimited free beer? Now that's my attempt and I might say. But you better not be playing with my emotions because I don't take kindly to that jibber jabber. Jibber jabber? Uh... I am not in any way yanking your chain. All you need to do is engage in a shooting contest. Uh, Hold on just one cotton minute. I ain't about to go shooting nothing just for some free beer. This ain't no western movie pun. I reckon you best be mosing along now. What? What's up, my knee? One tarnation we have here if it ain't a half naked Santa wannabe. Um. I want to give you unlimited free cable, beer, and bullets. What? Well, hush my ain't no shady deals, especially when it involves a free stuff from a drunken elf like you. Now get out of mischief yourself before I call the- What? Oh, well, ain't you aside for surprise what intonation happened to your clothes? The government took my clothes and they're coming for your guns. Hold on there, partner. I ain't got time for no conspiracy theories. Tish, you hide that out here. Well, your name is Outrage! Mm. Well, howdy there. What intonation brings you at this ungodly hour? We need to fight the government. Hold on, just hog watch a minute. You come spinning the nonsense about fighting the government. Ain't gonna turn right around and march on out of here before I give you peace, man. Well, 
He must... Something... What's this? Is it Paton? Oh, wait a sec! Maybe he respects authority. What are you doing here on my door? Hot or half naked in the middle of the night? Give me a heart attack here. If you do not let me in your house, I will beat you to death with this stick. And... Yeah. Put your thumbs and scare me, not get off my property before I take a good chance of a shotgun justice. Get rid of this. One time she's doing knocking on my door, it's godly hour if you lost your dang mind. The communists and the immigrants are coming to take the jobs. Listen to you, little twerp. I may be redneck, but I ain't gonna stand here listening to your ignorant rants. Get out of here before I listen to her. What do you want? The only thing he wanted was the free beer. Eh. Eh. What up, my fabulous fascinista friend? I've never seen such a daring and established uh, stylish ensemble at my doorstep before. How can I help you tonight? I am a representative of Santa Claus, and I would like you to come make a video about Santa's workshop. A video at Santa's workshop? That sounds like a jolly good time. Tell me more about it, and let's see if we can get... can work something out. Ho, ho, ho. Um... The elves will make a bunch of stuff that you can give away for free to your viewers. Free gifts, my viewers. That's seriously awesome. The holiday has just got even more exciting. Let's discuss the details and see if we can spread some holiday cheer together. Hell yeah, brother. Let's, let me come in. <laughs> What? He said to come in. I thought I was done. Hey there, my fashionable daredevil. Salute you for banging, bringing the late night energy. How can I see you this Sunday evening? I have some great video ideas for your YouTube channel. There's fantastic my fashion forward friend. I'm always on the lookout for fresh ideas. Keep my subscribers entertained. Lay it on me. Um, I have this box. This box has cool stuff in it, but I can only give it to you if I come inside. I appreciate the but I can't let you in now. Thanks for just though my fashion with dead. We'll have a go. Why are you dismissing me immediately, man? I wanna keep talking. No. Okay. New plan. What's this? Oh, I'm Jack Sparrow. Okay. What's this? Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Talk about late night surprise. What's up, my wacky cosplay friend? Can I add uh, how can I add a little more chaos to this already crazy night? I am Captain Jack Sparrow, and I have the fastest ship on the seas, and I think it'd be a great place to make a YouTube video. No way, Captain Jack Sparrow in the flesh? That's epic, and you have the fastest ship on the seas. That's some serious YouTube material right there. Before you set sail, let's make sure we're a good fit for each other. Tell me what kind of content do you create on your channel, Maisie? I create the greatest swashbuckling pirate content that there exists on their hair seas of YouTube. Oh, yeah. matey, that's great swashbuckling pirate content on the high seas of YouTube. That sounds amazing. I would love to check out your pirate shenanigans on and collaborate. Come on in and let's say so. Yes, okay. <laughs> Okay, I bet this would have hit a million likes. <laughs> All right, I am now Mr. East. 
<clears throat> uh oh. Okay. Well, I'm not sure if Fancy Dress could have knocked on my door this late at night. What in tarnations can I do for you? You guys, this hug me over there. Okay. Um, I would like to invite you to a barbecue. Well, now you got my attention, but a barbecue, you say. What kind of meats are we talking here? All your favorites. Every possible meat imaginable. I am going as much as a person can. I was going to say I was pulling out all the stuff, but I... Well, butter my biscuits. Every possible meat imaginable. That's a feast fit for a king. I reckon I can't say no. It's not for lead the way, partner. Um... I need an excuse to go in his house, though. Uh, can I use the toilet before we go? Well, I reckon you can use the toilet real quick, but don't go messing around in there for too long, you hear? Come on in, partner. Good, good idea, chat. I stole your idea. I was gonna say, can I use your fridge? You best have your hunting license. Okay. Let's go. Now we hunting. Actually, we still wanna be Jack Sparrow. I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. Blah, 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 blah. Did I miss someone back here? Let's, let's go back and see if I, I skipped over anyone. I can't remember. Yeah. Oh, no! Oh, I want those angel wings. Those angel wings are cool. Okay. I like this outfit. Okay. They miss it. Oh, there's a door over there. I hadn't gone in. Is that is that it? Yeah. So I missed this door back here. Ah, celestial creature with a regal, re regal aura. What grand adventures brings thee to my abode? Um. I want to challenge you to a flying contest. Um. What? Oh dear celestial being, as much as I appreciate your enthusiasm, I'm afraid I must decline the flying contest. I'm far too busy to... Who doesn't want to do a flying contest? <coughs> oh my dear curious creature of chaos, what misadventure has brought you to my laboratory? Such an astonishing state. Um, I have had a breakthrough that may change the world. Oh, splendid news. Pray to enlighten me with the details of this world-changing breakthrough. I have found a way to transform dirt into food. First thing, tell me more about this remarkable transformation. How is it possible to turn mid dust into susness? Um, there is a magical ether that permeates the entirety of existence and you can tap into it to change the reality in which we experience. Magical ether, you say? A most intriguing claim, but forgive my skepticism. Could you provide some evidence or perhaps demonstrate this transformation for me? Um, I can, but I can't do it standing out here in the cold. So I have to come inside. <laughs> Coming inside, you say? I must admit I'm quite cautious about allowing anyone into my laboratory. However, if you can convince me further of your breakthrough through, perhaps we can entertain the idea. Um, I am living proof of my claims. I have only been eating dust for my entire life. Dust that I've transformed into food. Okay, 
Remarkable! Your commitment to this scientific endeavor is truly commendable. Please come inside and let's discuss your groundbreaking discovery further. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Ready to go. Okay. I was supposed to be the mad one. Oh, his name was Pinky Brains? I didn't even catch on to that. They're Pinky. They're Pinky and they're Brains. Brains, 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 Brains. Let's go. Okay. So I'm over halfway. Ah, uh, uh, no. I want to turn into a bat. Can I go back for my stuff? I can't. Where's my crown? No, where's my crown? I took my crown, the jerk! No! Oh. Ah, no. Ah, no! Uh, did I leave some clothing in here? There's a lot of guys around here now. Got a little hat. Okay. What's this? Did I, am I holding a gun? I know what I just did. Can I jump over here? I got a, a taser? I think it's what I have, a taser? Um, infrared thermometer, okay. Hmm. hmm. Dr. Vicky, well, well, what brings a lab technician to my door so late at night? What's the matter feeling cautious about my questionable me medical practices? Uh, the medical community has finally decided to acknowledge your amazing accomplishments and they want to give you the Medical Nobel Prize. Oh, really? That's quite a surprising turn of events, but I'm afraid I can't entertain such nonsense right now. Goodbye. What do you mean, such nonsense? I have glasses now. Okay. <clears throat> whoa, well, whoa, well, whoa. Well. What do we have here? Sneaking around in your lab coat and silly glasses, huh? What's the big idea, Doc? Um, I am a huge admirer of yours and your work. Admirer, huh? Well, I must admit my work is quite impressive. What brings a fan like you to my humble abode? I want to study under you and learn from your amazing brilliance. Study under me, huh? I suppose I could use some extra hands in the lab, but first tell me what are your motives? What is in it for you? Doesn't seem to care about other people, right? Um. I merely want to learn and help someone as brilliant as you achieve their goals. Well, I must say your flattery is warming my heart. It's not every day someone acknowledges my brilliance. Let's see if you can keep up with me. Step inside my eager learner. Gonna flatter him. Will do. Oh, Wilder? <laughs> what? What's it supposed to mean? You better not be playing anything for us. Say your intention clearly on the door right there. Oh, oh, what? I was merely saying I would be happy to help and come inside. I oh, excellent choice of words. I can always use them eager and helpless. This is welcome to my enthusiastic lab technician. Uh, come in and see what you mean. Okay, good, good. I thought I was done before. That's why I, I said something random. Okay. This is worse than a bad Yelp review. Weird thing to say. Okay. I am now doctor. Did I skip someone back there? I can't even remember. Okay. Is this is the back door? Okay. Woodrow Troughs. Ah, Dr. Vicky. To what do I owe the pleasure of this late night visit? Exciting times indeed. I have an early release copy of Grand Theft Auto 6 and I would like to play it, but I do not have a PC to play it. Do you have a personal computer that I can play it on? Oh, well, 
Sorry, my friend, but I can't help you with the request. Best of luck finding a computer to play the game on. Goodbye now. Wait, 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 wait. Who doesn't, who doesn't care about GTA 6? Okay. Oh. Welcome to the Temple of Whirling Glass. What strange tie you wear, my friend? Are you here to teach us the ancient arts of bottle balancing? Um, I am the god of glass, and I want to give you my wisdom. Oh, wise god of glass, I am honored. Share with me your wisdom so that I may become one of the shimmering lights. Um... If you don't want your glass to shatter, you should not throw it against stuff. Ah, uh, wise words indeed, God of Glass. It is a great shame that so many do not heed this simple advice. Your wisdom will, will, will be spread throughout the land in hopes of saving more glass from certain doom. Thank you for saying so. Would you like to engage in some sort of drinking contest? A drinking contest, you say? Ha! I shall accept your challenge, oh god. Oh, oh glass bottle dance master. Let the liquid rain flow like a, a mighty river and may the most resilient liver emerge victorious. Great! I have the alcohol with me. Let's go inside and drink! Whoa there, glass bottle dance master. As much as I'd love to engage in liberation-based festivities, I'm afraid I must decline, decline this time. What? What do you mean decline? What happened? What happened? What happened? Uh, welcome to the lair of Woodrow Chops, the master of martial arts. Can I can, can I help you concoct a powerful potion or invent a new deadly technique, my confused compadre? Oh, he was training? I am the god of martial arts, and I want to impart on you my wisdom. <laughs> The God of Martial Arts, you say? Hmm, intriguing. I'm always hungry for wisdom, so please enlighten me with your divine knowledge, O oh, Mighty One. If you hit something harder, it takes more damage. Ah, well, oh, profound observation indeed. The harder the strike, the greater the impact it shall have on one's opponent. Your wisdom truly shines, O oh, Divine Master of Martial Arts. Thank you. Only one such as you would be able to see the amazing wisdom in what I say. I respect you greatly. Whoa. Oh, your words warm the heart of this humble warrior. Your respect is deeply appreciated, and I would be honored to have you gracing my lair. Please step right in and let us bask in the glow of mutual admiration. <laughs> he just invites me. I didn't even ask to come in. Good. Rawr. My Kung Fu is no match for this. Okay. Um, might be hard to find the last ones, maybe. Probably just the other side of the road has most of them, but there might be one or two that we hard to find. Let's, uh, along this path somewhere. Uh, mug. Thermos. Ahem. Well, hello there. You look like a real hiker with that cozy hoodie and that thermos. How's it going, eh? It's not going too good. There's some people lost in the forest behind your house, and we would really like someone who knows the area to come help. Oh no, that's quite a pickle, eh? I'm sorry to hear that, but I can sure lend a hand. Let's get them out of there, eh? Um. Uh. Absolutely, but can I use your bathroom before we leave? It's, it's a staple, right? 
What? I'm sorry there, bud, but I can't let you in just yet. Can't risk inviting someone in without knowing them better. But don't worry. You worry you'll find those lost folks ASAP? What do you mean you don't know me? I am your brother. You've known me for years. Oh, you sly dog. Sorry about that. I didn't recognize you. That fancy hairdo of yours. Well, in that case, come on in, brother. Let's catch up and then we can head out to find those lost folks together, huh? Thanks, bro. You're the best. Where's Michelle? It said Michelle. Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, shucks. Anytime, bro. Come in and warm yourself. Okay, thank you. Okay. <laughs> mm. Okay. This isn't the kind of chopping I do. Okay. Uh, did I miss this person here? No, we got that person. Okay, we're coming this way. Okay, 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 okay. I'm just gonna straight up say I'm gonna murder this person. Oh. Yo, yeah, Michelle, what brings you to my humble abode this late? I was just about to start binge watching my favorite show, so spill the tea. I'm in love with you. I've always been in love with you. Can I please watch your TV with you? Ah, <laughs> uh, that's... Um... Awkward. <laughs> I think it's better if you just head on home. Thanks for the other love confession, though. Bye now. What? You're tearing me apart, Lisa! Why does nobody love me? Oh, can I get in there? Can I get, jump over this fence? No? There's, there's clothing in there. I need that. I need that. Okay. Um... Oh my god, welcome to my humble bird friend. What brings you to my door at this godly hour? Do you need help finding the latest indie coffee shop? Um, I am selling the greatest coffees that can be found around the world that can only be purchased specifically from me right now. Oh, whoa, that's interesting, I guess. But to be honest, I'm more... Into my local fair trade artisan small batch cold brew, so no offense, I'll pass on your coffee empire. Thanks. So wait, but, but, um, wait, uh, let me speak more. No, no, no. This is a like small business owner, family, mum and pop shop kind of coffee. That it's why you can only get it from me. Uh -huh. mm, I don't know. It sounds a little too corporate. For my <laughs> I'm all about supporting local and unique business. I am. What do you mean? Oh. I've already played Hitman 3. Oh my goodness, are you here to play a surprise party? I hope it's not for my daughter. She's too young to be throwing parties. Um. I am from your daughter's school, and your daughter, unfortunately, has been doing drugs. We need to talk about this, and how to stop it. Oh no, that can't be true, I can't believe I'm always doing such a thing. I need time to process this, please leave and I'll handle it. No you won't, you need my help! Ah, his daughter doing drugs, and he just he's just in denial. Welcome my totally vibe and a bird. What's brewing? Can I introduce you in some fair trade organic coffee or kumbacha? It's like the best thing to happen to morning since avocado toast. Hello, I represent a local business that is about to be destroyed by a corporation. Can you please help me? Oh my goodness, it sounds so tragic. I'm like totally here for supporting local businesses and stick it to the man. Tell me more about the situation. Maybe we can come up with a plan to save the day. But like, can we take a selfie first? Activism, go activism goals. We can absolutely take a selfie inside. Yes, let's do it. Come on in, fellow influencer. Let's fight for justice. One trendy filter at a time. Plus, I got some sweet matcha lattes. Okay, it doesn't matter. We're inside. Let's go. Hashtag activism goals. Let's go. This is the ultimate ghosting. 
Okay. Golf. Hats. Um. Goodness gracious, who are you and what intonation are you doing here at such a late hour wielding that shocking contraption? <laughs> I, rep I represent an organization that reaches out to wonderful fathers to give them a free vacation and golfing tour. A free vacation, you say? Well, I appreciate the offer, but I have to be cautious. What's all this about golfing and tours? We as a community have recognized that you are such a great father to your daughter that we want to give you a free paid vacation to see all the best golf courses. <laughs> oh, golly, that money kind of you to recognize my fatherly efforts. Golf course, you say? Well, I do enjoy good round of golf. What's the catch, though? There is no catch. With golf, you do not catch anything. You just hit balls with a stick. Ha, <laughs> ah, you got a point there. Well, it sounds like a delightful opportunity. I have to discuss with the family, but I appreciate the offer. Um, uh, but I haven't given you all the details. Please uh, let me come in and explain things in full. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but I'm afraid I can't just let anyone in my home without knowing more about this whole colorful mum from the future business. What? What was that? What? Could you please provide more information before we proceed? Uh, colorful mum from the future is a code name for that. Your family is also going to be able to come on this vacation as well. Well, if my family gets to come along, then that changes things. Come in and let's discuss the details. I must admit, I'm quite intrigued by this colorful mum from the future concept. Me too. I'm, I'm also intrigued by how that came by. Okay. This is not the bite I had in mind for dinner. Okay. We dad now. Oh. Hmm. <clears throat> Oh my goodness, Homer. What in tarnation are you doing knocking on my door at this ungodly hour? Is everything all right? Um, Carol cares. Uh, I recently learned of an opportunity to do some great good for the community. Well, bless your heart. Tell me all about this opportunity we've, you've stumbled upon. upon. I'm all ears and ready to offer my advice and support. How can I help? Um, do you have any stuff around your home that you don't need that others might need? Oh, honey, I've got a bunch of things that I can donate. I've been meaning to clear out my closet and find a good home for all those clothes, toys. What? 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 Oh, good. Okay. I was going to say, can I come in and help you get them? But Okay. There we go. Not before my kids' soccer game. Okay. What's this? Is this a clip on her hair? That's weird. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean up some mess. Okay. Um, are there any houses back here? Is this a different house back here? Oh, are these different houses? I guess it is. I, I, I'm now, now I'm lost. Okay. Uh, what do you want? Is there a problem with the plumbing again or something? Um. Bro, everything in the world like sucks and no one will understand my pain. You know what I'm saying? But flowers are pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I guess flowers can be cool, but what's with the emo vibes, dude? Life sucks for everyone, not just you. Um. I agree, and I am giving flowers and selling them and stuff to make the world not suck. 
Sending flowers, huh? That's different, I guess. It's cool you're trying to make the world less sucky, but what's with the mop and apron? Are you some kind of janitor flower sales person combo? Um. Yes. <laughs> okay, interesting combo, I guess. So, what's your deal? Are you here to clean up the place and spread your flower power or what? Yes. <laughs> That's pretty awesome, actually. Dig your dedication to cleaning and spreading positivity of flowers. Hey, maybe you can spruce up my room with some flowers sometime. Would you be up for that? Yes. <laughs> awesome, I appreciate it. Why don't you come in and we can chat more about your flower power janitorial adventures. Okay. <laughs> I'm so good at this game! This is the worst hickey of all time. Okay. I got I got mop here, okay. Nice backpack, okay. Okay. Um So you think you just barge in here like you own the joint, huh? What's the mop for trying to clean up the mess you're gonna make? Explain yourself pronto. Um. Uh, what is it? Is there, is there a golf there? I love golf, but I do not have golf clubs, so I've been using this mop as a golf club to practice. Golf, huh? Well, I gotta admit, you got some guts using him off as a golf club, but this is my turf, see? And I ain't too clean laying strangers in. Convince me that you belong here, and maybe we can work something out. I consider myself to be the greatest golfer of all time. If you believe yourself to be good at golf, you are honor bound to accept my challenge to a golf game. The greatest golfer of all time, huh? You sure got a big talk. I gotta admit, I like your confidence. All right, I'll buy it. If you can prove yourself on the green, maybe I'll let you stay, but I don't think... But don't think I'll go easy on your kid. Bring your A-game. Um... What's the excuse to go inside? Mm. Do you have some sort of putter, putting training thing inside? Pusser pussing training thing inside. What? As a putting, putting, sir, putting. It's me without the mop. All right, wise guy, you done messed up now. You're expecting me in turf again, and I overgot it. Now, scram for I introduce yourself, Mr. Baseball Bat. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, 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 run. Run. What's this? Back. Oh, no. Is that? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, well. They can't come in here, right? Okay. So, I got three houses there that I haven't done. Okay, go, go skateboard backpack thing. Oh yeah. What the hell, dude? Did the world finally implode? It did! Oh my god, the world has finally imploded! Wow. Yeah, figures. Nothing good ever happens. So why are you here? Looking for the last remnants of hope? Well, guess what? There's none left. I agree, no hope at all. But I do have the skateboard and I would like to skateboard with you. Are you kidding me? You want to skateboard with me? I'm the living embodiment of despair, and you're thinking skateboarding is going to make it better? Get out of here, Perza. What? Living embodiment of despair? Li living embodiment of despair. Right. Okay. What's this? Okay. Um. <clears throat> what the hell? What's all this get up speak? I ain't got all night. Um. I represent Saudi Arabia, and I am interested in building a huge golf course. Hi, I'm a 
Saudi Arabia, huh? Big plans, huh? Tell me more about this golf course. What's in it for us? Um... It will be the biggest golf course of all time, and we'll call it, call it the Sunny Top Rano Golf Course. The Sunny Top Rano Golf Course, eh? That's a, got a nice ring to it, but what guarantee do we have that you ain't just blowing smoke? Show me the money, and we might have a deal. Show you the money? This hat that I'm wearing is worth a hundred million dollars. I couldn't even wear this hat if I didn't have enough money to build the biggest golf course. A hundred million dollar hat, huh? You took a big game, buddy, but I ain't impressed just yet. If you're serious about this golf course, show me some more concrete evidence of your wealth and dedication to the projects. Um... If you look inside this briefcase that I have, you will see that I have $500 million right here with me right now. Well, 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 looks like you ain't just talking nonsense. Half a billion dollars right in front of me, consider me impressed. Come on in, let's discuss this Tony Toprano golf course. I thought about saying that I can't open the briefcase out here, but he, he was, he, apparently the game will just assume that I showed him. That's fine. I ain't sleeping with the vampires. You totally are there. Okay. So let's go back to this person. And just say, hey, I'm a vampire. On. Look, kid, I may be the walking tragedy, but even I have learned skateboarding won't fix the void in your sad little heart. Find a new hobby. Find a new friend. Find anything that doesn't involve me. What? I, but, I, but I look completely different. Ah, oh, yeah. oh, can I just wallow my misery in peace? What do you want? Sonny, Sony, another late night thug gathering? Just go away and leave me to rot in despair. I'm actually a vampire and I want you to join us as creatures of the night. Hello. Creatures of the night? Seriously? I've already got enough darkness to spare in my life. I don't need to add vampires to the mix. Take your fangs and go bother someone else. What? 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 Ah, no. Dang it. Uh, what's this? Uh, got any stuff in here? No stuff in here? Okay, well. What's this? Okay, I got taser. Okay. Ahem. Oh my delicate sensibilities, what in the world is going on? How dare you come knocking at my door in the dead of night dressed like some sort of masked madman with an electrifying weapon? You've sent my fragile heart into a frenzy. Fragile Fred. Um. Hello, I would like to sell you this taser so that you can non-violently take down anyone who might be threatening you. How dare you? The audacity, the nerve. I will not stand for this kind of trigger happy madness. Be gone, you menace. Close the door. What? 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 I got four, four stars now, chat. It's not good. They're everywhere. Okay. Oh my goodness, Twisted Soul, what thou thou seek in this ungodly hour? Is it the sweet release of pain, or just another wretched soul lost in the world? I am just another wretched soul lost in this world. I should talk about music. Talk about music. Another virtuous soul lost and wandering. I'm afraid I can't offer you the solace you seek, for I too am drowning in the depths of despair. Seek your path. That's... What do you want? Another painful matter of this distant existence? I suppose if you're here to cause more suffering, come on in. I'll be your personal tour guide through the house of despair. Oh. I am here to cause more suffering. Look, I already have enough music. You, you, you just said you let me in. Mm. Ah. It bet they said they let me in to cause more suffering. I, okay. 
Well, 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 what do we have here? Looks like security really tightened up around here, especially with the tears in your hand. But sorry, pal, this ain't the knock, knock, joke convention. Beat it. Um, I have been told you are the greatest roaster in the entire neighborhood. Well, 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 word gets around, doesn't it? They don't call me the Rose Queen for nothing. But I gotta say, you've got good taste in recognizing my talent. So what brings you here, my newest fan? I want you... I want to hire you to roast my enemies. What? Oh, honey, as much as I'd love to help you roast your enemies, I've got a full roster of clients already. But don't worry, with a taser like yours, I'm sure you'll do just fine on your own. Keep zapping those haters. Um. Well, then, I would like you to tutor me in your roasting abilities. Tutor to you and my roasting abilities, huh? Well, kid, I don't usually share my secrets, but I'll make an exception for you. First things first, you've got to be quick with your comebacks and never sharp wit. Oh, and don't forget to sprinkle on a little bit of spice on those insults. Ready to take notes? I am. I am ready to take notes. Let's go inside and discuss this further. Hold your horses, buddy. We just met. You think I'm going to invite you inside? No chance. Take those notes somewhere else. This conversation's over. And so is your chance at roast tutoring. Goodbye. What? No. Oh. Just my cable falling off the table is fine. Okay. Mmm. Oh dear, I must say I'm quite startled by your unexpected visit. How may I assist you from behind this firmly locked door? Hello, I am selling the most high-tech security. I did not, may I know. <laughs> oh, how disappointing. I'm afraid I can't entertain such a proposal at the moment, but thank you for your offer. Um. But Fred, you are in constant danger. If you don't buy the security from me, bad things may happen to you. How dare you threaten me? I won't tolerate such behavior. Please leave before I take matters in my own fragile hands. Maybe he's actually a fairy. <clears throat> well, well, well. Looks like you didn't quite grasp the conversation. Conversation's over. Uh, it's a shame, really. I was starting to think you had potential, but alas, you've just been roasted again. Better luck next time, honey. Oh, mm, <sighs> Where's some more clothing? Beer hat. Okay, got some clothing here. Okay. Uh, it's outfit. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. <clears throat> oh, dear sweet snowflakes. What on earth has arrived at my humble abode? Pray tell what brings such a ghastly sight upon my doorstep during the dead of night. Um, you are a very pretty fairy. Right. I said pretty! Well, it looks like someone's trying to cure their thirst with a combination of brains and beer. What's the plan, Doc? Inject happiness into your taste buds? Hmm. I have developed a new drug that will enhance your roasting capabilities. Not that they need to be enhanced, mind you, but you can always use more roasting capabilities. I guess I should try an out roaster. Hold up, Doc. Are you saying that my roasting skills need enhancing? That's not all I'm saying. I've been roasting people hotter than the sun for years, but I'm curious how exactly does your magical potion work? Is it going to turn me into a roast goddess? Uh, yes, it is. I can demonstrate it, if you like, by roasting you right here, right now. Uh 
Oh, honey, you think you can roast the roast queen herself? Nice try, but I'm going to have to decline your offer. Keep working on that lab of yours. Maybe one day you'll come up with something that can actually roast as well as I do. For now, got to go. Bye-bye. Okay. So we got... We're, we're out, roaster. Okay, we're out, roaster. Okay. Oh, hello. <sighs> hello. Do you like depressing music? Yeah, I guess. I mean, what's the point of cherry music anyway? Just another reminder of how messed up everything is. I have the newest Fallout album with me. It's Fallout Boy, isn't it? Really? That's cool, I guess. The Wasteland, all its misery, does have a certain allure. But don't expect me all excited about it or anything. Um, would you like to listen to the album? I mean, I guess, if you really want to, but don't expect to magically fix everything that's wrong with the world. Um, do you want me to come in and play the album? Uh -huh. I don't know. I guess having someone to share the misery with might not be so bad. Fine, you can come in, but don't make it too much noise, okay? There we go. Finally. Okay. Cool. I'll let you in, but don't expect much hospitality or anything. Blood. Ra ha 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 ha. Okay. This is so mainstream. Okay. Let's go. Um. Well, 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 look who decided to grace it with their presence. What's the matter, my dude? The island has smudged a little too much. Maybe next time invest in some waterproof, huh? I am here to challenge you, the queen of roasting. Oh, honey, you think you can challenge me? That's cute, but I warn you, I've roasted more people than you've had hot topic shopping sprees. But hey, I love a good competition. Bring it on, my emo friend. Bring it on. Um... God damn it. Uh, um, uh, I, I don't know how to raise people. I'm not, I'm not mean. Um, your head is so round and your hair is so orange that I confused you for a basketball. Oh, look who's trying to be edgy with the insults, but I gotta admit that basketball comparison was pretty weak, just like your eyeliner game. But don't worry, I'll give you a chance to cover something better. Surprise me, emo scene kid. Um. Hmm. Uh, I can't roast. The glasses are the next thing, but what do you say about the glasses? Um, uh, Um, your outfit is so bad. You look like a librarian. What are you doing here and away from the library? Oh, no. A librarian, huh? You really think that's an insult? Honey, librarians are intelligent, organized, and they know how to handle books. Unlike you, you probably can't even read past the Huffington Post headlines. But hey, at least you know how to use a skateboard, right? Got to focus on the little victories. Um... Your outfit is ugly, like your face. 
Got him. Listen here, emo wannabe, you just crossed the line. I made rose peel for fun, but that doesn't give you the right to be downright disrespectful. Take your petty insults and skate away. The door's closing on you, and Herbert hits you. <laughs> Look, full out Roy, I can see you're taking really hard with these insults, but your weak attempts at putting me down are sad as your taste of music. There was all a favor. This people I roast you so hard. Okay. Look, pal, I didn't invite you to this racing party. You gotta step up your game if you're just stumbling around in your own insecurities. Take it, saw yourself back to the corner, leave your real roast. I was gonna be like, yo, I heard you suck at roasting. Oh, no, 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 no. No. My outfits, why? Ah, okay. Oh. Oh, it's a new person. Uh, what the hell is going on? Can you please put some clothes on and kind of move yourself from my doorstep? I don't get paid enough to deal with this kind of nonsense. Um. Hello, I want to give you a free vaca vacation. Are you see you're trying to offer me a free vacation without any pants on? Get lost, you pervert. I have actual work to do. Okay. Fair. Fair, chat. Fair. So how did I miss that house? If I've done these ones. Okay. When did I do this guy? Ah, oh, I wanted... Ah. So I could sneak in. I remember doing this person. Yeah, okay, okay. I have so many things. Come on. Okay. What the hell is going on? Can't you see? I'm busy here. State your business and keep it snappy. I have developed a new way to make you more optimal in your work. Oh, really? That's just what I need. Another way to optimize my already overwork overloaded workload. But sure, go ahead and enlighten me with your miraculous solution. I have a pill that will make you ten times smarter. Seriously? A pill that'll make me smarter? I don't have time for gimmicks and snake oil remedies. I need real solutions to manage my workload, not some questionable magic pill. Um. I have an app that will help you organize all of your work to make it more easily done. Yeah, limitless is what I was thinking of, yeah. An app, huh? Well, if it can actually help me get some of these tasks off my plate, it might be interesting. Give me the details, but keep it brief. Ah, uh, the details. Um. I am not sure I can trust you with the details. You were hand-selected because of how good of a worker you are, but I need to hear more as to why I should give you these details. Look, I appreciate the flattery, but I'm not in the mood for games. If you've got something that can help me spill the beans ready, I don't have time to waste on your vague promises. Um, the app will detect which jobs you can do at the same time to maximize efficiency. Well, that actually sounds useful. If this app can help me jump, juggle multiple tasks and get things done faster, then I'm all ears. Come on in and let's discuss. Let's discuss. Let's go. Eating! <laughs> okay. There we go. This is one deadline I didn't expect. Okay. So I got a smartphone. Let's go. Okay. Oh, hello, Jessica Overworked. How lovely to have you disturb my tranquility at this ungodly hour. How may I assist you in further disrupting my peace? Fragile Fred. Um. I like the name Fred. Fred is a good name. Oh, um, thank you for acknowledging my name choice. Frederick 
has always been a name of great significance to me. How kind of you to appreciate it. Um. I appreciate your fragileness, Fred. It's nice. Well, thank you, I suppose. It's not often that someone understands who sets my delicate nature. Your kind words bring some solace to my fragile heart. I also like your outfit. Very nice. Oh, thank you, thank you. Your appreciation of my affairs was my fragile soul. Please come in and bask in the delicate ambulance of my humble bird. There we go. He kept getting overexcited by stuff, so I was like, look, I'll just be boring. There we go. I need a support vampire. Okay. I am a butterfly. Well, 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 look who decided to flutter by. What's the buzz, butterfly? Don't you know that daytime is your time to shine, not knocking on people's doors at this ungodly hour? I am the fairy of roasting, and I have come to acknowledge your skills in roasting. Oh, is that right? Well, I guess the theory of roasting has finally made its way to my door. I must say I'm impressed by your guts, but can you handle being on the receiving end of my fiery roast? I am here to receive your roast. Oh, I said theory instead of fairy. I see. Well, well, well. Looks like we've got a roast enthusiast in the making. I hope you can handle the heat, my friends, because I'm ready to serve up uh, some scorching insults that will make your question, you question your life choices. Let's get this roasting party started. Because I realize... She doesn't want to tutor people. She doesn't want to be roasted herself. She got really offended. She just wants to roast people. So I'm going to stand here and accept her roast. I am ready to accept your roast. Well, you're certainly a brave butterfly, aren't you? I can see that you're ready to take your roast game to the next level. Come on in, my friend, and let's see if, we can ha if you can handle the heat. There you go. That is that easy. It is that easy. Nom 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 nom. This isn't the kind of shot I serve. Uh, okay. Let's go. Uh, I, I, oh. I, I beat that person, didn't I? Okay, so I need to find the other two people. Uh, because I got lost before. I cut a corner. Why can't anyone here avoid furni uh, afford furniture? Who knows, man. They clearly spent it on the walls. Uh, that's not... Is it? Oh, god dang it. Uh, I can't... Oh, I can't turn into a bat yet. Oh no. I still need to escape him? What? Oh no. I need I guess I need new outfits. I guess I gotta drop outfits to distract them. Yeah, okay. Is it in here? Was this where where something? There's something to wear here. Let's get a taser. Because you gotta pick up stuff. Where's the last people? It's all the way from the beginning of the game. I got two. Okay, I got a lot of stuff clipping into it. Okay. Hmm. Down here somewhere? Hmm. Uh. I don't think I'm meant to be out here. Can I suck cops? I don't think so. Hmm. Is it 
actually meant to be a secret area, or have I just missed the door? Um... Dang it. Okay. Aha! Found one. Potentially two. Okay. We're a suit and tie. And a briefcase. Okay. Rich people. Okay. Oh, hey, this guy again. Right. Well, and, and, uh, hello there. Welcome to Elon's Energetic Emporium. What energizing ideas do you bring to the thrilling table tonight? Let's shake it up and sizzle with success together. Hello. I am going to Mars tomorrow. Would you like to come? Hello. Oh, Mars? That's like so far away. I'm more into tech and energy innovation right here on Earth. Maybe next time we can conquer the cosmos together, but right now I have to pass. Thanks, though. But, 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 but that's not how Elon Musk would be! Oh, come on! <clears throat> oh my god, like, who are you and why are you dressed like that? Did you just rob a clown restaurant or something? But hey, I've got... Food, I'm totally down for a snack attack. Hello, this baseball cap can generate more energy than anything else on Earth. I would like to tell you more about it. Whoa, that's like totally mind blowing. So this baseball cap isn't just for looking cool. Tell me more about the en it's this energy generating magic. When you wear it, the more you think cool, smart thoughts, the more energy is generated from it and it can power your house. Oh my god, that's like the like most amazing thing ever. I could power my whole tech empire just by thinking cool thoughts. Can I try it on and see if it powers up my brainwaves too? Sure, you can try it on. <laughs> yes, okay, I'm ready to generate some serious brain powered energy. Let's do this. Yeah, let's do this. Whoa, whoa, right? I'm thinking cool, smart thoughts like innovation and disrupting the status quo. Let's see if the cap can handle my big brain energy. Whoa, it totally can. And, and it's generating so much electricity according to my readout equipment here. You're so amazing. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, you're totally blowing my mind right now. That you're amazing for bringing this incredible energy generating cap into my life. Please come on in and let's bask in the glow of innovation together. Let's do that. This is the least representative uh, appearance of Elon Musk a goddamn ever. Thought I'd be bitten by the tech bug. Not this. Okay. Weird. Uh, so one more. Did I kill Zuckerberg? No. Okay. Uh, so there was another rich dude house somewhere, right? Right. I need some gear. Got one more. This game 100% needs a map. This is just his house again, right? I'm in a table. Hmm. Transform makes me into a bat, but it drops all my stuff. 
Makes me faster. You, you drop stuff to distract the people chasing you. Um, I have a stick. And a piece of paper. Okay. Uh, hmm. Where's the last house? So I just did this up here. Mm. Dang it. Table? Are you just tapping table? Yeah, it's not helpful, chat. Got a baseball cap again. Did I get a person's house here? I did get this house. Let's get more stuff. Did this person. Did this one here. Dag Nemet. Hmm. The old lady? There was an old lady? Well, from the very beginning? One word doesn't work that well with TTS. Hmm. This looks potentially new. Nah, this is behind this person's house. Yeah. For sale? This is my house. From way back when. Hmm. Oh, this person from way at the beginning? <laughs> well, well, well. What an unexpected surprise. How marvelous to see you with a delightful bottle headdress. What can this old lady do for you, my dear? Um. I am a poor, needy child, in need of a good meal. Oh, bless your a little heart, dear. I would be more than happy to offer you a warm meal. Come right in, and let's for your that hungry belly of yours. Oh, thank you so much, you wonderful, wonderful woman. Oh, shush, now you make me blush. It's no trouble at all, my dear. Why don't you just have a seat while I whip up something delicious for you? I would very much so appreciate that. Oh, of course, dear. Nothing makes me happier than cooking for someone in need. Have a seat and make yourself comfortable. You're in for a treat. Thank you. I will take a seat. I'm holding an axe, by the way. You're welcome to come inside. Please step right this way. Thank you. <laughs> Eating. Where are my knitting needles? Uh... You've cleared the neighborhood. Congratulations on completing the Suck Up Early Access. Join our official Discord to stay up to date on news, connect with the devs, and share your experience. Wow. That was nice. Me using my amazing voice acting techniques, as you saw there. Uh, clearly a genius at improv. This is why I do the best GTRP of all time, clearly. If you guys want to pick up this game, it's called Suck Up. It's not on Steam, because Steam doesn't allow AI stuff. Uh, but it costs, like, I think, like, 12 bucks AUD. So, it probably costs, like, $9.99 um, American. So, you know, feel free to go check that out. Uh, if this is on YouTube, which it probably will be, thank you for watching, thank you for hanging out, wish you all the best, bye-bye.